So regardless, the fees can be pretty substantial. And a lot of you guys have messaged me saying, hey, like I'm getting charged a lot of fees for this in this trade. Is there any way to reduce that? And yes, there is one thing you can do. It's very similar to this, but we're just gonna change one thing. Think of it as a little loophole to save money. Some of you guys already may know of it, but if you don't, it's a great opportunity to learn it. So moving forward, you know it and you can save money. What's up everyone, welcome back to JR Business. So as you guys just saw, some of my friends were over and they have been dying to hear the F430 start. So I had to give them a startup and a few revs. Is this going to be on a video? I don't know. Whoever runs away first, loses. Run. And the reactions were absolutely hilarious, but rightfully so, because that car is insane. But anyway, back to this video. So it's a new day, and once again, it's another crazy day in the cryptocurrency world. But today, I got a special video for you guys, because today we're gonna be talking about a little secret, loophole, special technique you can use to trade with zero fees, and I mean zero fees. So in just a moment, we're gonna pop up to the office to get talking about today's video, but before we do that, we gotta pick the giveaway winner from last video. So if you guys commented on last video, you will be automatically entered, and without further ado, let's go ahead and randomly generate one of those comments. So congratulations to that winner. If you too want to be entered for the next cryptocurrency giveaway, be sure to be subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications so you know when we post videos, and leave a comment down below. It's that simple. Do those three things and you'll be entered into the next giveaway for free cryptocurrency. You can't beat that. All right, here we go. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and you see all the cars and are wondering what's the deal with those, uh, we are actually huge car enthusiasts and we have the YouTube channel called JR Garage, our automotive channel, where we post content with these bad boys. So be sure to check that out if you want some awesome car content. All right, let's get inside and get going. All right guys, let's get down to business. So if you haven't seen our last video we put up, be sure to check it out once you're done with this one. But we went ahead and compared Verge versus Ripple versus Cardano versus Tron. So uh, these four, you guys have been asking about a ton. So we went ahead and compared them in one big video, talking about the pros and cons of each, what each are built for, and kind of where they sit going forward in our minds. But anyway, enough of that so we can erase that, but be sure to check that one out. By the way guys, while I'm erasing this, Verge has been nuts lately, up and down like crazy. There have been some tweets and Reddit articles that came out that actually sent the price way down, but then a lot of people have bought up and it went back up, then back down. I don't know, it's been absolute madness, but hey, I'm still up a pretty large profit on it, so I'm happy. So you guys can read the title, How to Trade Cryptocurrencies with Zero Fees. What? That sounds too good to be true. How is that possible? Yes, it's possible, and through one simple step, you guys can do it too. I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys today. So before we begin, I'm gonna give you guys a visual outline of what we will be covering to kind of give you guys a warm up to it and to get your minds going in the right direction before we pop on my computer and I give you guys the step-by-step -step tutorial of exactly how to do it. And once again, as you guys already know, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what you should do with your money. I always encourage you guys to research the market before you invest in it because there are always risks involved. I'm just sharing you guys my opinion and trying to help you guys out. So if you guys saw my video I put up about, I don't know, two or three videos ago, it was a step-by-step -step tutorial video of how to buy cryptocurrencies for beginners. If you guys haven't seen it yet and you're interested in beginning buying cryptocurrencies, be sure to check it out. But I basically said you're gonna wanna start with Coinbase, buy one of the big threes, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, I prefer Ethereum, and then I said you were gonna transfer that to your Binance account, and from there, you would buy your altcoins. This is totally accurate, and this is the way the majority of the people do it. It's quick, easy, simple, no problems, right? But the one thing some people complain about are high fees. Now, the fees will vary a lot from how you transfer money into your account, what coins you're purchasing. Bitcoin has a lot higher fees, and it takes a lot longer. That's why I like using Ethereum. So regardless, the fees can be pretty substantial, and a lot of you guys have messaged me saying, hey, like I'm getting charged a lot of fees for this in this trade. Is there any way to reduce that? And yes, there is one thing you can do. It's very similar to this, but we're just going to change one thing. Think of it as a little loophole to save money. Some of you guys already may know of it, but if you don't, it's a great opportunity to learn it. So moving forward, uh, you know it, and you can save money. The reason 
reason I didn't talk about this way in the beginning was because it can be a little confusing to some people and I wanted to keep it as simple as possible when starting. So let's go ahead and erase this and give you the visual of what I'm talking about and then we'll hop on my computer to show you guys the step-by-step -step tutorial of how to use this process. All right guys, so like I said, this new system is very similar to the old system, but you're gonna hear one new keyword and that is GDAX. Step number one is going to be setting up a Coinbase account. Once again, guys, use the link in my description. When you do set it up, that'll get you $10 in free Bitcoin and the best deal when setting up. So no matter what you do, you're still gonna set up a Coinbase account. If you already have one, great. We can skip to the next step. So GDAX, you guys see it. What the heck is GDAX? So GDAX is an exchange that is actually owned by Coinbase. So the thing with GDAX is it's a little more sophisticated, a little more complicated, and that's why not as many people use it. So the nice thing about Coinbase owning GDAX is almost everyone who sets up a Coinbase account will automatically get a GDAX account. The login information is actually the same. So now what you're gonna wanna do to make this system work is to make the transfers through GDAX, not through Coinbase. So the original step-by-step -step tutorial, I said transfer from your Coinbase into your Binance, which is still fine. If you wanna do that, that's fine. You're just gonna get charged some fees. But to save the fees, you're gonna to wanna to transfer from your GDAX to your Binance, okay? So instead of transferring from your Coinbase to your Binance, you're gonna go from your GDAX to your Binance. Now you guys are probably wondering, how do I get like money into my GDAX? Again, since Coinbase owns GDAX, it's super simple. If you already have crypto in your Coinbase, you can easily transfer it to your GDAX. Or if you have US dollar, you can do a bank wire transfer into your GDAX account. Now again, you guys are always gonna have to sign up with Coinbase. It's just you don't have to transfer USD or crypto through your Coinbase. You can skip using it but you still have to set up with it if that makes sense because you need to get the GDAX in. and in order to get the GDAX, you need to set up the Coinbase, okay? If that makes sense. So, all right, so here's how the process is gonna work. You are going to have to set up a Coinbase. Again, use the link in my description and then that in turn will get you your GDAX. Now, step number two, uh, transferring money into your GDAX. Keep in mind, they will only let you do a bank wire transfer. You can't do credit or debit card, so fair warning. Um, but anyways, all right, so you're gonna USD transfer into your GDAX. Once you have the money into your GDAX, you can go ahead, buy one of the big three. Again, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. Again, I like Ethereum, do what you want. But then once you get one of those big three bought, it'll then be in your GDAX account and then you are going to transfer one of these three into your Binance account. And then from there, once you have one of the big three in your Binance account, you can buy your altcoins. So I hope that was a good little warm up to it. But now without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on my computer. Give All right, everyone, welcome back to my computer. So I will now begin the step-by-step -step tutorial video showing you guys how to trade cryptos with zero fees. Now, again, it is a specific process, so be sure to watch this section in its entirety so that no errors are made. So like I was saying on the whiteboard, the first step is going to be signing up with Coinbase. Now, if you guys are already signed up with Coinbase, that's great. Hold tight until we get to the next step. But if you're not on Coinbase already, you're going to want to go to any of our videos, go to the description and hit this link right here. It'll say get $10 in free Bitcoin. This is the sign up link. Uh, they'll get you the best deal when signing up. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. It'll say JR Garage invites you to Coinbase. And when you invest your first $100, you'll get $10 in free Bitcoin. So that's super cool. So all you do is fill out your information here and then you are well on your way. So now once you're signed up with Coinbase, this will be your home landing page. And now I know the point of this video is kind of showing you guys that you don't really need to use Coinbase and you should be using GDAX, which it totally is. But to take advantage of that uh, $10 in free Bitcoin offer, you're going to want to invest at least $100 on Coinbase to get that $10 in free Bitcoin. So you can do that over here in the buy section. Simply link your bank account or a credit card, invest $100 and you'll get $10 in free Bitcoin. Now, once you do that, we're gonna immediately move the crypto out of the Coinbase and transfer it to the GDAX so that we can begin trading with no fees. Now, remember how I said Coinbase owns GDAX? Yes, that is the case. Actually, you can see right up here at the top, Coinbase Inc., yet it's GDAX.com. That goes to show that Coinbase does indeed own them. So, 
you click this sign in button right over here and you log in with the same credentials that you would log in with Coinbase. It's really that simple. You don't have to set it up. It automatically sets up when you set up a Coinbase. Super duper convenient. So you're going to want to log in here. So once you're logged in, you'll be taken to this page right here. Now I know it looks a little overwhelming at first, but believe me, once you start making some trades, it is actually very, very simple. So before we dive into this head first, let me show you guys something real quick. So here are the Coinbase fees broken down. So you'll see that with a credit or debit card, they charge up to 3.99%, 4% fees on your trades. And if you do it with a bank wire, it's still 1.5%. So instead of paying these hefty fees, I'm gonna teach you guys how to pay 0% in fees. So you guys see these two columns, taker fee, and a maker fee. Now, the only way to get 0% fees is to be a maker. Think of it this way. If you're putting in a limit order and you are making the offer to buy the crypto at a certain price, you are then putting that order out there for a taker to come in and buy at a market price. So if you guys are just setting up your GDAX accounts, you would of course have zero USD and zero cryptos. In my demo account, I already have something in here, but basically just ignore this. Say we have zero and zero. So like I said on the whiteboard, you're gonna wanna deposit money into your GDAX. You can either attach your bank account and just deposit money from here, or if you already have crypto in your Coinbase, you can go ahead and copy your wallet address on GDAX, head over to Coinbase and send it over from here. So very simple, just pasting that address, be very careful with that, um, make sure everything's good to go, and then click send, and then it would show up in your GDAX. But say you just have USD in your account and you're looking to buy some Ethereum. Remember on Coinbase, $1,000 worth of Ethereum would cost you uh, upwards of $15 to $40 in fees. Ouch. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to eliminate all that. So you're gonna wanna come down here. Like I mentioned before, the only way to get zero fees is to make a limit or stop order. You be the maker of the deal. Now, what a limit order is, if you guys don't know already, is basically you just saying, I don't wanna pay over a certain price for a crypto. So if we click limit and buy, we're gonna do a quick example. We're gonna buy 0.01 Ethereum. You're gonna to wanna to set your limit price below the current trade price, which is $713 even. That's the market price. If you clicked market buy, it would execute somewhere around here. But for our limit price, for the sake of an easy example, we're gonna go ahead and do 0.98, I don't know. Let's just hope it drops to that so it goes through. This is gonna cost us about $7, a little over $7. So if we look off to the right here, we will see our orders under the order tab. Here we are, 0.01 Ethereum. Fees are going to be $0 as shown here and our limit price of $712.98. Again, it's still at $713, but if it drops to here, it will execute the order immediately. So let's go ahead and see if it will. And the opposite of what I wanted to happen is happening. The price of Ethereum is going up and therefore our order is not getting filled. That's the thing with a limit order. If it does not hit this price, it will not fill your order. So let's go ahead and put in a new order a little higher and hope that one goes through. Okay, so let's try this again. 0.01 Ethereum, we're gonna do 715.49, just a penny under what it is right now, and place order. Okay, it's open right now. Okay, there we go, see? So the price just dropped and it immediately got filled. Now check this out, fees, zero. So there it is again, our order under the filled section, zero fees, there's our limit price of 715.49 and here's our 0 0.01 Ethereum. Now I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you do a market buy. So check this out, if we click market and we're under buy and we want our same, oh, seven dollars and 15 cents worth of ethereum it'll give us this much and we're just going to place buy order boom so this will go through immediately so there you have it it went through immediately see this one just popped up but look at this fees now although it's super small because we placed a super small order there are still fees and that's because we were the taker the moment you click market buy you're going to be paying fees. There's no way around that because someone else is making the order and we are taking it, if that makes sense. So still, fees are much lower than on Coinbase, but uh, ideally you want to do that limit price and do it through that way. So once you successfully buy your crypto, it'll show up here under balance what your account holds. And now say you guys want to buy smaller altcoins with your new crypto. So just like my step-by-step -step tutorial shows, you're going to want to set up a Binance account. Once again, come over to my video. In the description will be a Binance link right here you can use. And once you sign up with Binance, 
it's very simple to transfer funds over to there. So you can go ahead and take your newly bought crypto and you can click withdraw. So now once you hit withdraw Ethereum address, you can enter the amount of Ethereum we want to withdraw and then it's going to have an Ethereum address right here. So you're going to want to go over to your Binance and once you're logged in, you're going to go over funds, deposits, withdrawals, and you're going to scroll down to Ethereum, which is right here, and you're going to want to click deposit. Now you're going to copy this address, hit that button right there. And then you're going to head back to your withdrawal tab in GDAX and you are going to paste that address. Make sure it matches perfectly. Da, 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 da. OX2F, OX2F. Yes, it matches. And then you just enter the amount you want to withdraw and transfer over there. Enter your two factor code and click withdraw funds. And then shortly after that, keep in mind it will take some time to transfer. You can come over here to history and the amount transferred will show up here once it transferred. So just like my buying tutorial video, once it shows up here, you can go ahead and click over to exchange, basic or advanced, and that will let you purchase altcoins. So say you want to buy Ripple XRP, you would just come over here, click that right there. With your Ethereum, you can come down here and buy Ripple. You can buy at a market price like we just went over, or you can buy at a limit price if you want to set a price lower than what it's currently at and hope it goes down to execute your order. So once you successfully buy whatever crypto it is you're after, it'll show up on your Binance account and it'll be stored there. And then from there you can move it onto a wallet, but more on that in another video. So there you guys have it. There it is in a nutshell, um, how to use GDAX. It's a cool little trick I have used many, many times to save me quite a bit on fees. If you guys did already know how to use it, great, more power to you, but if you are new, I really hope that helped and I hope that was a great little trick for you guys to save on fees. I know it's a little confusing to start. This looks a little overwhelming, but as you guys saw, we walked through it and it wasn't all that bad. But now you guys have the ability to trade for zero fees instead of paying the hefty Coinbase fees. I hope you guys found this video informative. Uh, once again, be sure to subscribe and comment down below and turn on post notifications to be entered into the next crypto giveaway. And stay tuned for the next JR Business video. And I still owe you guys a video talking about my top picks for low market cap crypto. So, so comment down below if you want to see that video, the house update video, as well as the video talking about security and storing cryptos on a wallet, etc. So yeah, there you guys have it. Really not too bad at all. You start by setting up a Coinbase. Use my link in the description to get $10 in free Bitcoin. And from there, that'll automatically give you a GDAX account. And then once you're here, you can go ahead and transfer USD into your account to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, or Bitcoin Cash. And then from there, you can transfer it over to your Binance account so that you can get purchasing altcoins or whatever it is that you are after. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.